How's it going YouTube? This is Skull and welcome to another sale video. Uh, first of all, um, addressing last sale video that I posted last week, I have two things to say. First of all, thank you to everyone who responded so immediately and uh, generously with your offers. Um, uh, as you can see here, I have this uh, binder that I already showed off last week, but what I'm doing first in this video is showing off what I didn't sell last week. Uh, I sold off the entire first binder within a day, uh, thank you to whoever bought that, and I hope that you enjoy your cards. And uh, I'd say half or more of my XY sets were sold as well as some um, black and white series sets. So there's a, a lot that has been sold, and uh, there's a lot left. So. Um, that's what this video is for, of course. And secondly, of course, there were a lot of people who were telling me, please don't sell your sets, I've worked so hard on, on collecting them. Um, and there, there were a bunch of people who uh, thought, uh, who obviously did not actually watch the video and accused me of selling cards that people have given to me for free. Uh, no, um, every single card that I'm selling are cards that are in my collection. And in my collection, there are two kinds of cards. The first is a card that I pulled myself out of a booster pack or bought online as a single card or in a bulk lot or whatever. In other words, ones that I personally paid money for. Um, that's the majority of my completed sets are, are those cards um, where I bought a booster box, opened up the box, and put most of those cards in the collection. The second kind of card is one that I traded for that somebody... Um, traded to me, of course usually that person would be a fan, but the point is, once it's in my possession, it is something that I traded, something that I bought for, so in, in other words, it is mine, it's not like a fan gave it to me for free, out of the kindness of their heart, which does happen a lot, I get a lot of free cards from my fans, but um, usually they make it very clear um, if they are okay with me selling it or trading it away and a lot of times they also make it clear about whether they want me to keep it um, and never trade it and for those I never do. But as far as what's in my collection, uh, including this, including my black and white binder which I will show off as well, and including all of my other cards which I am not going to show off in this video just for the sake of time. Um, the, they're cards that I own that are in my collection and that were not just given to me by fans. As I said last time, I have several thousand cards just lying around in my house. Frankly, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but they were given to me by fans and I have absolutely no intention of selling them or getting rid of them in any way. Just because you guys have been so generous to me over the past few years, just giving me cards because you admire my channel, and I can't thank you enough for that. And frankly, that's part of the reason why I am selling my collection to you guys, my fans, uh, is because I could go to eBay, I could definitely um, probably make as much money, maybe even more, from eBay, you know, except for charges and whatever, but I figure, you know what, I owe it to you guys, my fans, to have first dibs on getting all of these cards. So that's why I'm doing this, and so far you guys have been absolutely generous with your um, buying my sets off of me, to the point where, from what I showed last video, this is all I have left. So going through here real quick, we have the complete XY series again, um, the, the XY base set, including the um, alternate Hollow Vivian in English and Japanese. Um, of course, we have all the um, energy and full arts. We have a Furious Fist set, and I believe there's somebody who inquired about buying this full set. Um, I don't remember if we agreed on it or if they backed out or whatever. Just know that there is a possibility that Furious Fist is claimed already. Um, same with this, Ancient Origins. In fact, as of right now, there is someone who is in the process of buying this off me, but. Uh, it's been maybe 24 hours since I told them where to send the payment and I haven't gotten it yet. So just in case, this is Ancient Origins. It has all the full arts, um, the three gold cards, and the two secret rares here in the back. Everything, all the ultra rares are in a sleeve anyway. Um, this one is Breakthrough. Uh-huh, this is Breakthrough. Um, now this is not actually a complete set. There was somebody who bought a single card from here. I believe it was just one card. Um, we're going to get to the back and find out. 
Um, uh, that page is loose, whatever. Um, no, it looks like there were two cards that were sold. This Mega Mewtwo Y Full Art and the Secret Rare Mewtwo there. But everything else is still here, and I think I have a spare of the Y in my trade binder anyway. Since I'm not trading for cards anymore, I'll probably just put it in here and sell a complete set minus the other Secret Rare Mewtwo. Let me put this page back in. That's driving me nuts. Okay. Then, of course, the Generation set. Um, it never was complete. Um, there's been a few people who have bought single cards from this here and there in the past week. So, yeah. And this is Fates Collide, which I believe is still a complete set. We're about to find out. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, it's still a complete set. So, now uh, that's my XY collection. Uh, the binder itself is also for sale if you guys want it. It's a really nice binder, although I do know that it's like everywhere, so it's not that rare or anything. Just know this is for sale, and everything in here is for sale as well, except potentially the Furious Fists and um, Ancient Origins set. Pretty sure Ancient Origins is already claimed. Uh, Furious Fist is like on, on the fence, but everything else I know is available. And now I'll go on to my black and white series sets. Okay, here's my first black and white binder. It has the first few sets in there. Um, let's see. Uh, first of all, that's a uh, Shard Hollow Superior from the theme deck. It's not actually from the set, but it kind of counts. It's always counted to me anyway. Same with that Embor Shard Hollow. Uh, Samurai is actually a real hollow, so that's interesting. Anyway, everything in here is, of course, near mint or mint. Uh, same as with my XY series. Uh, it does have the full art Zekrom and Reshram and the Secret Rare Pikachu. And every single one of these energy is actually from the set, if that makes a difference to you guys. Got Emerging Powers here, probably one of the cheapest sets in existence right now. Um, just because there's like nothing of value in here. Probably sell the whole thing for 50 bucks. That is a Shard Crocodile set of the non hollow rare like it's supposed to be but we have max potion pokemon catcher if you guys care about that crushing hammer if you care about that full art thunderous tornadoes no secret rares uh this is the noble victory set um pretty sure everything's in here and if not then um then i do have it somewhere just not in here for one reason or another but i'm pretty sure everything is in here uh of course it does come with the full art n um, which, as I understand, it's like a $100 card right now, uh, somewhere around there. But like I said, send me a offer on the sets or any cards that you want. Priority does go to people who want to buy the complete set, just FYI. I'm willing to negotiate, and if you do want some singles, I can uh, we can talk about it. Just know that priority does go to somebody who wants the full Noble Victory set, as opposed to someone who just wants the full Art N, although, you know, we can talk. Up next is Next Destinies, which was the first set ever to print these EX cards. Um, complete set here, of course. Uh, like I said, as far as I know, everything is near mint or mint. Um, yeah, we got the Full Art Mewtwo that used to be a really expensive card. Not sure how expensive it is now, probably not much. If I remember right, the Shaman is actually not mint. Uh, no, it is not. It has, maybe you can see, it has some damage there on the bottom, so that'll reduce that price. Um, and then we got the four secret rares over there. Next up is Dark Explorers. Um, this is actually a very valuable set. I was surprised when I checked to see how valuable it was. It is extremely valuable. So, like I said, make me an offer. Uh, it does have the gold Pokemon Catcher. Secret Rare Archaeops, I believe, has some damage on it. Um, Darkrai, I think, has damage as well, but everything else I think is mint or near mint. And then I have uh, a few extra things. Of course, this is the Dragon Vault uh, mini set, which uh, I don't know how rare it is or how valuable. Make me an offer. Now, this is actually something awesome. This is the Japanese um, Latios and Latios half deck from the movie. Um, when I bought it, new in box it was $300 and I think that that's what it's worth now it's only these um, 22 cards the four energy there and then the uh, 18 cards on this page here but it is an incredibly rare 
Um, in my opinion, very cool looking set. I just don't need it anymore. And every single card in here is pulled straight out of the out of the packaging and put straight into sleeves. So everything is 100% gem mint. Here we have a complete set from the um, Arceus and the Jewel of Life set that was released only in Japan. It's extremely hard to find, extremely valuable. You cannot play with any of these cards, I gotta say. So if you're a player, then ignore this. But if you're a collector, these are really awesome looking card energies. So that's something to think about. This is the Latios and Latios trainer kit that came out in 2003. Uh, this is the Japanese version of Dragon Vault called Dragon Selection. I'm um, not sure how valuable it is. Make me an offer. Uh, this is interesting. I have a complete League Series 2011 to 2012 promo set. So every single day, um, every single month of the of the League season, they gave you a Pokemon and an Energy, and these are alternate Hollows, and they have the Play Pokemon logo. You might be able to see it in the video. And I have a complete set of that, so, like I said, make me an offer, the Japanese version of the second Radiant Collection, I, ha I do have this completed if you guys are interested. And they were just tacked on to the end of this binder because this binder had the room. Um, so uh, this is mostly, of course, black and white, and now we're moving on to my next black and white binder. And here we are with my final black and white binder. Uh, we have the Dragon's Exalted set, uh, once again complete. I'm not sure how valuable this is now, I remember when uh, it first came out it was extremely valuable, then it sort of dropped off, then it got higher, lower, whatever. Has some pretty good cards and expanded like Tool Scrapper, um, Mew EX Full Art of course, it has all the Full Arts, uh, four Secret Rares including this Rayquaza. When I got the Rayquaza it was worth $120. Um, it's not anywhere close to that now, I know, so make me an offer. Up next is Boundaries Cross. This is Boundaries Cross. No, this is Plasma Storm. My Boundaries Cross set has already been sold off. So this is Plasma Storm. Of course it has um, Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos EX, which is there. Uh, it does have the uh, Tool Drop Trubbish, which I know is like not playable anymore. It has Don Fan. Has all sorts of really good cards. Uh, tons of EXs, Lugia EX, uh, Bicycle, uh, Hypno Laser, Verbank City Gym, uh, Colress. Has both A specs, all the full arts, and it does have the Secret Rare Charizard, Blastoise, and VS Seeker. That alone skyrockets the value of this set. And up next is Plasma Freeze, which is the very first set I ever completed before the next set came out. I'm very happy with that. It has uh, my favorite EX of all time in it, which is the Latias EX, and my favorite full art, Latias EX full art. It has, um, wow, this is a very blue page, but it also has a secret rare Professor Juniper, um, Imbor. The Golden Ultra Ball is worth a lot of money. That alone makes this whole set way more valuable, but it also has Max Potion, a few other things, so. It's worth a lot more than probably anything else I've shown off, honestly, uh, this set. Uh, and up next is Plasma Blast, which is actually my last set to show off. I've sold my Legendary Treasure set. This, of course, has Verzian and Genesect. Not as playable now, but it used to be my go-to choice of a deck. It has Jirachi EX, which is extremely playable. Uh, of course, I have the Full Art. I have uh, Secret Rare Rare Candy, which I know skyrockets the value of this set as well. So that basically does it for my uh, updated sale video. And once again, this is only a portion of my uh, set that I have left. Uh, my camera is giving me a warning, but it, it's still going, so I guess I'll keep talking. Anyway, so make me an offer on anything you see. Priority does go to people who... Um, who want to uh, buy a complete set off me, but if you just want single cards, hit me up, we can discuss it. And I should have another sale video next week, um, which should start off my Generation 2, 3, and 4 sets that I have available. I think that pretty much does it. Thank you all for your support. Um, I just hit 150,000 subscribers this week. I'm so thrilled by that. Thank you so much, guys. Um, you guys really are the best. I don't deserve to have you, and yet here you are. 
helping me out and I just can't thank you enough. So anyway, I look forward to seeing your emails. That pretty much does it for this video. Thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more. Oh, and every video is much better with a cat. Say hi, Alex. He says hi. You can't hear it, but he does say hi.